Real Street News underscore it end. It kind of ensued at the end of the party when we were um, trying to ex exit the building, actually. Um, I honestly just saw like Christian, Justin, Quincy kind of start circling Ray a little bit. Words were exchanged. Things started getting heated as we um, went into the parking garage. You know, I feel like chests were being bumped. Uh, Ray had a backpack. And from the last situation we were outside with the zoo stuff, he went around and tried to go grab his backpack and he had this satchel on. So I'm like, does he have a blower in there? Like, oh, wow. I don't want it to really like get to this level. So uh -huh. out of nowhere, Chris Brown hops out the car like a freaking leprechaun out of the magically delicious sky. And <laughs> like, honestly, he started breaking it up. I try to talk to Quincy Christian, get their stance on it and let them know that this wasn't the time and the place. I understand emotions are high. Yeah. I understand what they're going through, but for the betterment, everybody get in a better space. I pray that all parties can resolve things equally. Um, you know. And, so, uh, from what you've seen, did things ever exactly get physical, or was it just words exchange? Was there any, you know, fist uh, thrown or? Um, it definitely was like a, a, a chest bump, pushback, okay. pull up the pants mm -hmm. kind of vibe. But yeah. the way Chris came out and just like. Like, I mean, I swear he took Justin and Christian at the same time and just got both of them. I grabbed Quincy. The other security start, you know, uh, his manager, David, their security, they grabbed Ray. So it was like before actually like things all the way ensued, mm -hmm. you know, we had a couple angels by our side. <laughs> so do you think that had Chris Brown not been there, that the situation could have gotten, you know, worse or gone? Oh, absolutely. You, were, you were worried about, you know, shots being fired. Yes, yes, absolutely. I feel like if Chris wasn't like the bigger voice of reason in that moment. I don't think anything that any of us were saying would have toned the situation down. So um, honestly, yeah, Chris really did help the help the situation. I don't know when Chris became the big homie. You well, know what I'm saying? Well, After we're just trying to get Ray calmed down because at this point he feels like he got pressed. He got pressed by the Combs kids, mm -hmm. and he's like, you know, a grown man, OG from LA. He feels like they in his city. You know what I'm saying? So his emotions were definitely high running rampant um you know we, we try to get him in the sprinter david amber and i try to like continue to press him down because mm -hmm. where he was at it still probably would have kept going had david being ray j's manager and yeah, amber david, rose yeah david Weintraub, that's uh ray j's manager amber rose um yeah we try to grab him in our sprinter you know and try to get him up out of there because you know where he was going in his mind it wasn't gonna like be a good night so have you talked to ray j since how's ray j feeling about the situation now are you able to speak um, on it yeah i definitely talked to him and he definitely feels like you know they was out of pocket and you know uh things gotta be addressed real hey, street news Martin? underscore end nigga in la nigga where bro you know i'm not gonna call y'all because this could go somewhere else and i'm like you know, at the club, dog. But don't you didn't have donut them with you? I had nobody with me. Dog. So how many of them was it? Two, three? What? I don't know, like eight. Oh, so it was them and eight, and they tried to rush you for real. Yeah, but don't put this up, blood. Nah, it's going out. Nah, blood. It's going. It's just going out, dog. <laughs> like fuck them niggas down. <laughs> so my question to you is. Can I put the other stuff out that we've been knowing about? Nah, they 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 too young. Like it's like that. Like I, I moved away from it. Like, huh? I tried, to talk some, I tried to talk some sense into like what happened, but I just I'm saying, luckily the homie Chris is here. What? Wait, what, Chris? Chris Brown, bro. Wait, well, whack. Don't put this shit up online. Bro. Nah, what's this? Oh, fuck them niggas. Nah, but still, don't. It's going up. It's already online. It's online that the nigga tried to rush you and you ain't told me shit. Fuck you, it's everywhere, nigga. It's everywhere that the niggas tried to rush you. They ain't said they put their hands on you. I just said the little homie gonna squabble up. I thought it was just one. Now you telling me them and eight niggas, so it's on. Yeah, but it don't need to be like that. Nah, that's what it's gonna be. That's what it's gonna be. All right, so... I'm going to call you when I get back tomorrow. I'm going to pull up on you. All right. They tried to get the little one. Yeah, but whack, they hot as, they hot as fire grease right now. Leave those niggas man. alone. Man, they, man, I don't give a fuck how hot they is. They, they, they hot. They hot. Yeah. Nigga, we run into you, nigga. We run into you. 
Act like it's 1995. Yeah. Period. Hey, hot though. Now you gonna try to rush a nigga eight deep? That's crazy. I mean, uh, rushing nigga eight deep. He shouldn't have got up out of there. No, I said no. He should have been knocked yo, out. Yo, Luke. That's crazy. That's crazy. And Ray J over there being sympathetic. You know what I'm saying? He want to leave it alone. Because he know. No, they say Chris That's Brown true. stopped. Hmm. Well, Chris Brown did what he's supposed to do as a Paul Blue right I keep telling niggas Chris Brown is racking up his points. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, I, mean, I, I said, look, I said, 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 I said